Stop for a moment and think about what you have to be grateful for. And it's important to understand what gratitude is. It's not quite the same as appreciation. Appreciation is just generally recognizing the value of things. Gratitude is appreciating the actions that people have done that have been helpful. And appreciation doesn't carry any responsibilities, but gratitude does. With appreciation, you say, oh, this is, this is nice, this is good. I'm glad I had that experience. I'm glad I had that acquaintance. But with gratitude, you realize that somebody went out of their way to be helpful, to do something for you. The Pali, word for gra the Pali words for gratitude, katanyu, gatawedi, both contain the element of gata, which means something that was done. You appreciate what was done. And then there's a word that goes along with this, batikaroti, is you respond. Either respond in kind to that person, in other words, you try to repay the debt of gratitude, or you try to pass it along to somebody else. In other words, if the person or the people who were really good to you are no longer around, well, you try to keep their goodness alive by embodying in your actions. One of the most common sayings you hear around Thailand in terms of gratitude is that gratitude is a sign of a good person person of integrity. In other words, it's a sign that you recognize what goodness is and you realize that it doesn't just come automatically. It's a result of choices. Someone had to sacrifice something to help you, but they saw, saw that it was worthwhile. In order to keep goodness alive in the world, you want to behave in a good way yourself, to show that you were really worthy of that help, or you're a worthy vessel of the lessons you learned from that help. This is one of the reasons why we train the mind, is because the mind can, can be all over the place, and the things we do and say can be all over the place as a result. But if you train the mind to appreciate the goodness of others, and you look at yourself and you say, okay, what goodness can I pass on to other people? So the goodness doesn't just stop right there. So stop and think about it whose decisions, whose actions, whose words you have to be grateful for. And think about the lessons you'll learn from that. The Buddha would talk about gratitude when he was talking about karma, in order, in order to make the point that because people have choices, gratitude is a worthwhile emotion. If we were just automatons or everything were totally predetermined, it would just be the working out of the atoms doing their thing, and just be the luck of the draw. But the fact that gratitude is worthwhile shows that okay, we really value the, the fact that people have to make choices, and sometimes the choice to do the right thing can be really hard. But if you appreciate the fact that other people have done that hard thing for you, then it's going to be easier for you to do the hard thing when called upon to help somebody else. Years back when I was at Wat Damasit, the son of one of the men in the and the neighborhood came and visited his father and kicked, and got a big argument, kicked him downstairs, broke, broke both of his legs. And John Fung's first comment on hearing that was, you can never trust that son. He was willing to do that to his father, he could do that to anybody. So look for gratitude in yourself, try to develop gratitude in yourself, and if you see ungrateful people around you, okay, avoid them. They're not good people to hang around with, and not, got not good people to associate with. Unless you're in a position where you can teach them some gratitude. But make sure that your gratitude is solid and that it actually yields in the responses that are appropriate. 